Hey, DJI fans, check it out. Um, I got this Mavic 2 and I freaking love it. It's awesome, but check this battery out. It is puffed up so much that it pushes off of the drone and man, that's a risky situation. But I got an idea, I wanna check it out. I wanna open it up. All right, we're trying to be prepared here. I've got a fire extinguisher, an ammo can, a hobby knife, and my battery. So if something bad happens, I toss it in the can. If something worse happens, I use a fire extinguisher. This battery is puffed and uh, you can tell it's, it's swollen on the bottom. The problem is it doesn't fit safely on the drone anymore. And um, this is uh, been reported to DJI. They told me it was out of warranty and I was SOL. The problem is this happened to three of my batteries. I was driving across the desert and I was on my motorcycle and apparently it didn't like the uh, 115 degrees heat all day. So they puffed up. So let's see what we can do to make it still useful. I've flown this battery successfully many times since then, and I just don't like that it doesn't snap down. So I'm going to continue to risk it and see what happens. So my thought here is, you see that line, I'm just going to cut along edges to alleviate this pressure. Now, I don't want to be the one that says, hey, poke your LiPo battery because that's a bad idea. So this is a very much do at your own risk procedure because LiPo batteries do not like being exposed or punctured. So please be very, very careful doing this. I'm doing it as an experiment to see what happens. So as I'm getting closer to going through, I'm being very careful. You see I'm even angling the knife towards the edge a little more. I really don't want to puncture a battery. This is relatively soft and thin plastic. And I really want to keep the weight down. Risky, risky. Spudger from a phone repair kit. If 
feel like I've perforated this a little bit. So, double stick tape in there. much ah, it still rocks a little bit now you can see what the inside looks like clean this up a little more stack actually squishes in there you can see that let's get the drone and see how it fits all right this one wobbles this one wobbles this one you can see has the puff This one you see still also has the puff. So this is in and they snap. This is the puffed one, but you know, you touch it a little bit, it, the pressure pops it back up. So unsafe situation if this comes up all the way then your connections aren't gonna work out. So that'd be bad. Let's try this one now that we cut open. How's that? Yeah, same thing. Still the pressure pops it off, so. There you go. Be risky or not. Don't uh don't open up your battery pack either. So this concludes my video. Let's decide. I made this choice and tried something to see if it would work. Uh now you don't have to. Uh DJ wants you to buy new batteries and it's probably a good idea. So, good luck, happy flying, fly safe. If you like this video, like, subscribe, share. If you're DJI, send me some new batteries. Dude, this sucks, okay? I shouldn't have to go across country and have heat puff up my batteries. So, help your folks out. Customer support would be amazing.
So I think ultimately the best solution for these puffed up batteries, if you're still gonna fly them, is to use a Velcro strap. This is the old school method for holding stuff down, like nice and snug. You don't want that battery popping off. And then on the bottom here, you don't wanna block your downward sensors. These are the LEDs, no big deal. So, good luck, happy flying, and I uh, hope we don't have these problems again.